Good morning. Um, I'm Marie Bowers. I am a fifth generation farmer from Oregon. Um, I'll get to that more later. I'm also a board member of the Ag Chat Foundation. You can find me on Twitter at, at MarieB41 and at my blog, OregonGreen.wordpress.com. So my topics, can food chat make you healthier? But before we get started on that, I would like to tell you a little bit about the Ag Chat Foundation. Um, it's a three-year-old nonprofit organization, and our mission is to empower farmers and ranchers through social media, to teach them how to tweet, to Facebook, to um, do all that YouTube, and so that they can tell their stories so you guys know where your food comes from. And we have, these are just some infographs that we had created. Um, and we have all types of farmers, large, small, conventional, and organic. It takes all kinds to make the agriculture world go round, as I like to say. So food chat. Um, simply answered, I think food chat can make you healthier. Food chat is a monthly Twitter chat, and we ha also just recently introduced a Facebook page. It focuses on the interests of consumers, nutrition professionals, foodies, and influencers of food choices. Food chat um, provides followers an opportunity to meet a farmer and also helps those in agriculture learn from consumers. And I think this last point is really important because me as a farmer, I have no idea what people in New York City are thinking. I can, I can tell you that after being a week in the city, I really don't know what you're thinking. And um, so it allows you to ask me questions about what I'm doing on my farm and allows me to ask what are your concerns about what I'm doing on my farm because we have nothing to hide and we would love to tell you what we're doing. Just ask, please. So a little bit more about me. Um, I grew up in Oregon in the small town called Harrisburg. It's about two hours south of Portland. I'm a fifth generation farmer. The, we've been farming some of the land has been in my family for over 100 years. So we kind of have a history there. <laughs> we grow grass seed and we also grow wheat and we also have another crop that we grow called Metafoam, which is an oil seed crop. But grass seed is our primary crop. And um, you're thinking, grass seed, what does that have to do with food? That's what grows in my lawn. Well, this picture on the left is some sheep, and we plant our grass seed in the fall. And because Oregon has such a mild, wet climate, the grass seed grows really well there. So we don't have to water anything. The grass seed grows up, and then we put sheep on our fields all winter long that they graze off and they eat. And then they go off, and they're either ready to go to be harvested, and then they go to your plate. And then we harvest our grass seed in the summertime, which actually our harvest just started this week. So thank you, Dad, if you're watching, for letting me be in New York, <laughs> or else I'd be on a tractor like in the next, well, in the next few hours harvesting. So we, about this time of year, we cut the grass seed, we put it in a rows, and in another 10 days, when the moisture's low enough, we harvest the seed. From there, the seed goes overseas to China, to Japan, um, to the Middle East, and the seeds there is used to plant, to feed the beef cattle, to feed the dairy cattle, um, even the camels in the Middle East. And then we also, um, a lot of our seed also goes to the southern United States. So in the wintertime, when their natural grass goes dormant, their cows have, and dairy cows have something to eat as well in the su southern United States. And then the straw that we, comes from the grass goes also into forage feed. So, we are a food crop. We feed our food. So how does Food Chat make you healthier? The basis of Food Chat is we're having conversations. We're, having, we're answering questions about organic methods of farming, conventional methods of farming, um, biotechnology, the use of GMOs in agriculture. Uh, we're talking nutrition. We're talking, you know, like the school lunch program that went out was a big deal. We have real information. We have registered dietitians who participate in our chat. We have farmers. We have chefs. We have foodies. We have consumers who are, we're all consumers, so that's the most important part. And we're, we're talking. <laughs> we're talking, we're sharing information, and we're learning from one another. And I think that makes us all more successful in the long run. So some of the topics we covered. Um, we have covered food insecurity and malnutrition in North America and worldwide. We have covered food prices globally and locally. We have fun topics, like we talked, had one chat just dedicated to wine. Um, we have discussed food safety. Many people want to know um, what is the process that gets the apple from the tree to my grocery store, and how along the way am I knowing that it's safe, what's happening to it, you know, which kind of apple should I buy? Because I don't, I'm confused. Because there's a lot of information out there. I think we've all, um, in the last, yesterday, I know,
we had some people talk about the fire hose information that we get out there and how do we decipher through it. And I think Food Chat's a great place to help you filter through that. I mean, you're talking to the people who produce your food, you have the people who touch your food along the way, and, you know, it's putting the pieces in the puzzle together. We talk about dietary guidelines. The, um, I taught, said, mentioned school lunches. Um, I think it was mentioned yesterday that, you know, they came out with the My Plate, and then the USDA set a certain guideline for how much calories and protein kids can have at their school lunch. Well, I'm not, I'm not a mom, and I don't have kids, but I know moms that were quite outraged because they felt their kids weren't getting enough food to eat. And they had tried to write the USDA, tried to, you know, get their attention. And through some of the connections that we had, we were able to get one of the undersecretaries for um, the USDA to come on and, and answer our questions, listen to our concerns, the mom's concerns, and maybe, maybe it made a difference, maybe it didn't. But at least they heard us. We know they heard us because they were on there tweeting. So um, we also talk about personal dietary guidelines, New Year's resolutions. Uh, we talk about holiday food, homegrown food and gardening. We have Ask a Farmer Rancher because, like I said, we don't know what you guys want. We're just trying to produ produce the best food, the best quality food that we can for you guys. And we don't know if we're doing something or you think we're doing something that seems un unsafe, unnatural. But please ask us because we'll tell you. And so I think that's one of the most important things. And then we have our Food Thanks campaign that we do around Thanksgiving time which we tried to tie to like a local food bank, a local charity, so that um, promote, you know, you know, some of us are less fortunate, some of us are more fortunate, and, you know, promote food all around. Just recently, we introduced a Facebook page because we felt a monthly chat on Twitter wasn't sufficient enough for all the questions out there about food. And we were finding that a lot of our farmers who we had trained to do social media we're going to pages that you would, I guess you would say had an agenda. And they would try to talk to them about, you know, their methods of farming and how they produce food. And they were finding it was making these people angry and they would get blocked from the page. So then this one person's opinion was heard and no one else was. So we decided, you know what, we're going to create a food chat page. And the goal is for people, anybody, to come to our page, ask us a question, and we'll post the question and have it answered. Um, just, I, the, I took the screenshot a few days ago, and uh, just the other day, someone asked a question of, I see these hives driving around, like beehives in the field, and I'm not quite sure what this box is up there. What is, is that for feeding? So then we had a beekeeper get on there and answer the question, and every region of the United States is different on how they keep their bees, so the answers were kind of varying, but it helped learn something, you know? Oh, bees need food too. <laughs> especially in the off season when there's not stuff to pollinate. Um, so I, I encourage you to go to our Facebook page. I encourage, and if there is no question, that is dumb. I mean, we think, you know, farmers and ranchers may think some of the questions are simple, but we need to know what you're wanting to, that we need you to, excuse me, we, we need to know what you want to know so that we can answer it and be more transparent for you. So please join us on our Facebook page. Come like us. Um, as you saw up there, we just started out, so we're slowly trying to get the food community built. Um, our Twitter chat is every third Tuesday from um, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then the sister chat, the major chat, uh, ag chat, is every Tuesday other than the third Tuesday. And ag chat is farmers and ranchers. It's more farmers and ranchers focused, but that doesn't mean you can't participate. We're usually talking uh, harvest. We talk about government regulations. We talk about planting season. Um, we talk about social media and agriculture because we have tweeting farmers. And, but I'd encourage you to just even watch it because you'll be amazed all the knowledge that's there and how not one farmer is the same. So the handles to follow, I'd follow Food Chat, which and Ag Chat are the moderators of the chats. The Ag Chat Foundation, which is the board that I'm part of, that. Uh, that sends out tweets constantly, and then of course follow me, please. <laughs> I'm the I'm the chair of the chat, so if you have any you have any suggestions for food chat, what we should talk about, please let me know, and I'd be glad to put in our topic. And the hashtags are food chat and ag chat. Follow those, and farmers and dietitians, and everyone's tweeting with those. And then um, learn more by visiting agchat.org, 
And then that's my, that's a picture of one of our, from a place in our farm earlier this spring, looking over a part of another part of our farm. So anyway, thank you very much.